I would like to tell you how to solve few problems. Suppose the question is find the domain of the following functions. The function is fx is equals to x square minus 7. If I take first part here that fx is equals to x square minus 7. If I tell you how to calculate how to obtain the domain of any function, it is always to remember that set of all such possible values of x on which the function remains defined. The function is always having valid value. So if we observe in the function x square minus 7, the each real value of x will always give the real answer of the function. So it means that for the function fx is equals to x square minus 7, the domain is any real number and for that symbolically we write capital R. Now, if I discuss with you the second part, function where indicated by 1 upon x minus 1, we should take care that if denominator becomes 0, then any number upon 0, it comes to infinity, not defined. But domain is such set of values of x where function remains defined. It means no such value of x can be accepted which makes the denominator 0. So we should rule out that x minus 1, the value of x minus 1 should not be equal to 0. Reason if x minus 1 is 0, it means that something upon 0, that means the value is infinite or we can say the function will not be defined and function is said to be defined only and only when this gives the real value. So denominator should not be 0 meaning by x minus 1 is not 0 which implies that x is not equal to 1. So its domain is every real value other than positive 1. Now if we talk about the third that is if function is given that is root of x plus 2. If function is x plus 2 we know that as usual that domain is the such values of x. Domain is the set of all such values of x where function remains defined. But if x plus 2 become negative then function will not be defined. That's why we say this x plus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. Hence the domain become x is greater than or equal to minus 2 or I can write it as the value is minus 2 2 plus infinity. So while we are calculating the domain of any function we should take care that denominator should not be 0 and in the square root symbol there should be no negative value. Otherwise the domain will be considered every real number but in such cases we should rule out such possible values of x which makes denominator 0 or which makes the square root as the negative. So that's why you can calculate the domain of any function if it is required. Now I would like to discuss with you one more example where we will calculate the domain of the function. The question is find the domain of the function x square plus 2x plus 1 upon square root of x square minus 8x plus 12. To calculate the domain what to rule out is being explained to you previously also. That denominator should not be 0. First thing we should take care 
the denominator should not be 0 and the values of x inside the square root if it is square root k then k must be greater than or equal to 0. These two things we should take care while we are calculating the domain of any problem. Here we are finding in the denominator square root of x square minus 8x plus 12. So to take care of the first condition this value should not equal to 0. And second the denominator's value should be greater than or equal to 0 as you have already ruled out that it should not be equal to 0. So we can conclude here the answer of x square minus 8x plus 12 should be greater than 0. I am removing the sign of greater than or equal to because this is in the denominator also. If I ask you to factorize, you will say it is x minus 4 and uh, this is 12. So we have to think for two numbers. Those two numbers are minus 6 and minus 2. So this become x minus 6 into x minus 2 is greater than equal to 0. We are, we are not taking equal to the reason being as we have ruled out denominator cannot be 0. x minus 6 into x minus 2 greater than 0. With the help of inequality we can say the answer is minus infinity to plus 2 union 6 to positive infinity. Reason being when we find the quadratic equation greater than 0 in that situation to obtain the real values we say from greater number to positive infinity and from a smaller number to negative infinity. Their group, their union gives us the domain or set of values which are required. Hence the domain of this function is minus infinity to 2 union 6 to infinity.